All right, welcome back, guys. We have done until step five. Let's see which one have done with step six. This is our part two video. So I want to make it two short videos. Let's see. So on slide five, types for living in Japan. In Japan, review the slides to evaluate whether it is professional or clear or consistent. So you guys don't have to read it. Just start with slide five and go quickly. To six a because your time is limited you have 45 minutes to complete one project in final exam so what's it say six a change the font color of the title white background first column on the first row so let's go to slide five first i'm going to slide five so over here you see slide four slide three all the titles are in white font font color is white right and the background was this we have the same background, but this is a bit red. And it's hard to read. It's easier to read with white in Japan at a glance. But over here, it's really hard to read what is written over here. So we need to change the font color. It's very easy, right? You guys have done it thousands of times. I'm going to go to Home tab and look for the font. And I just press white. You can also change it from the right button, right? Go to the right button, font color, or you can say go to paragraph. You can see all the options over here. You can see change the font, font style, whatever you like. The next instruction it says, so we have done with the font color. We change the font color. Now look for the change the font using the left content placeholder so that all the text use the same font shown in the right content placeholder. So we have over here two content, right? So content placeholder one is over here. One is over here, two content placeholder, okay? But they're different, they look different, right? This font is different, is Comic Sense MS Trif, and this one is Arial. So it says I have to match with the right. The left one should be matched with the right one. So I click over here, select all of the text, and I make it Arial. So look for Arial over here, okay? The font size is 24 plus, and also this one is 24 so I don't mind so both are 24 okay so both are 24 and the font style is same the next step says on 6c change the shape fill of the right content placement so this is the right side right and also make it no fill to so that matches the left content placeholder so the right content uh, placeholder has different blue color uh, background but this one has white color background okay so i want to make it equal or same for the two place content holder uh, place content placeholder now just click over here i cannot see i just click on the border when i see the black cross i just click double click okay i need to change the shape fill so i click outside over here and make it white okay shape fill should be white so going you can go to home and you can change or you can double click on the box it will be done so again i will do it over here instead of clicking inside i will click outside corner of the box any edge of the box and click on the shape field and select white background okay done with or no fill if you like you can select the no fill so instead of uh, this one i can also click no fill so no color at all, no white, no green, no black. Okay, if I click over here, let's see what color we have over here. I just click, is it no field? Yeah, it's also no field selected. So both of them are same. Okay, we are done with six. Let's go to number seven. Okay, we have three more steps. Seven says add transition to the presentation as follows. Okay, so it says for whole, presentation not only one slide okay so select the push transition from the subtle section so we have to look for the transition tab so this is an important one again and subtle sections yeah so we have to look for subtle section and we have to look for transition so both are important one then i have to look for push so this is our transition tab we have done with the animation look for the transition tab okay so this is the subtle options and we have to look for push up or just push, right? So click on the push option. So it's look like going all the way 
come down. So all the slides will change to push up. Let's see what it says with the second one. So we got push transition. 7B says use the form right effect option. Okay, Form right. So we look for the effect option here. First, we have to look for the effect option. Then we have to look for from right. So I go to the effect option and I need to do it from right. So this is the from right. So look how it works. It's going from right to left, right? This is right side and this one is left side. It's going from right to left. Let's go back to the change the duration of the transition to 1.50. Let's see how long the duration is over here, one, and it asks you to make the duration 1.50. So this is the timing of the transition, right? So duration you got, this is an important keyword, duration. You have to look for the duration. So I just click 1.25, 1.5. So the duration is now 1.5. Let's see what it says with D. 7D says, do not allow slides to advance on a mouse click. So over here, advance word is there, and we have to stop on mouse click. So click on the, on uncheck this box. So now I'm not allowing you to on mouse click, change anything with on mouse click. Let's see, it says, do not allow, right? Do not allow slides to advance on a mouse click. Just I have unchecked the box, so I'm not allowing anymore. Let's see, 7E, advance each slide after six seconds, okay? So the direction should be six seconds. Again, we have to look for the word after, and this is advance options, right? Or advanced side option. So I go for over here, it's all zero, zero, zero. So I have to make it six seconds, right? So first one is a minute, this one is seconds, then it's milliseconds. So I just go over here, I have to make increase one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six seconds, zero minutes, and zero microsecond milliseconds. Apply the transition settings to all slides. Now I have to apply the same transition setting for all the slides we have. So just click over here, apply to all. I click apply to all. Now the all the slides will have same transition style. Okay, we're almost done. Now we have finished with step number seven. Now let's see the number eight. In the document properties, enter Delango as an author property. Okay, so I will not going to write, so I will not have any spelling mistake. I just copy this one. This capital letter, two capital letter, and two small, uh, other one small letters. I will just control C, and I go to the file and look for the document properties yeah so I see over here author is teacher okay if you are not downloaded the file before you can edit it okay I have changed this one okay if you're not signing with this one you can easily write the author Dilango over here so we can show all properties add an author okay and I will put it as Dilango, Control V, okay? So we couldn't find the person we are looking for. I just press Enter, Dilango is there, okay? I don't need the option for the teacher, so I just keep it like that. So the specific the manager, Dilango, as a new author, okay? The last one, number nine, says, check the spelling in the presentation. You guys have done it many times, right? How to change the spelling and grammar. So where I can find this one, we have to go to review tab and check the spelling of the presentation. Click on the spelling. So we have a problem over here. The spe spelling of younger is wrong. It should be not Y-U-O-N-G-R, it should be Y-O-U-N-G-R, younger. So I just change, that's it, we are done. Anything left, nothing left. So we can see the slide sorter view and presentation should look like the final figure on the following. Yeah. Let's see, we will close this one. Close this one, go to the view. Okay, and look for the slide sorter view. So I have two logos in slide two and slide three. And uh, slide four has a background. We haven't do, done nothing with the slide one. 
and slide file, both of the content placeholder looks similar. They have same font, same, no background, no fill, and they have some types of animations. All right. Let's see how it goes if I want to present it. Okay. Just going next one. If I click, and then it's teaching Japan how it works. So we have the animation. And now we look for the animations. One, two, three pictures are coming. We still have the logo on slide three. And Japan at a glance is over here with the background. Okay. Capital Tokyo, the list is over there. And tips for living in Japan, the slides over here, like number five. And we can see the bullet numbers are everything the same. So our end of slide is over here. Let's see, we will quickly upload how to upload this project. Quickly go and continue and upload this project. So this is the lights last file I have saved. Okay. And we'll upload this one. Okay. Any questions so far? All right, guys. So I'm going to end the meeting now and stop the recording.